Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you an interesting attacking game which was played by Swedish chess grandmaster Pia Kramling. Although I have to tell you that Kramling would earn grandmaster title only in 1992. But meanwhile this game was played in 1991 in Hamburg and in this game Kramling's opponent is Austrian chess grandmaster Stefan Kindermann. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. By the way, I have to tell you that this game was suggested by one of my viewers and in case you have any other nice game suggestions, let us know in the comment section. Meanwhile, it's high time to start our game and Kramlinko was playing with the white pieces opened up with d4. Kinderman responded with knight f6, c4, g6. Knight c3 and d5, we have the Grunfeld defense, c takes d5, knight takes d5, e4, knight takes c3, we have the exchange variation, b takes c3, bishop g7, bishop c4. The good old classical variation is on the board, black castled kingside, knight e2 and b6. In here c5 or knight c6 are considered to be more popular alternatives but in our game we have b6 and there it goes h4 is on the board white wants to organize a quick kingside attack knight c6 bishop d5 although i have to tell you that going for h5 straight away is also playable but in our game we first see bishop d5 and only after queen d7 we have h5 e6 uh, I have to tell you that this position had also been seen in a game played between Boris Pasky and Jan Timan. That was a game played in 1977 and if you remember I have already covered that game. In that game instead of playing e6 we saw bishop a6 and after h takes g6, h takes g6, knight f4, e6, Spassky played queen g4 and then after rook fd8 went for a beautiful bishop sacrifice on e6. In case you missed that video, the link will be in the comment section. But meanwhile, in our game after h5 we have e6. By the way, a similar scenario we will see in our game. And I guess that Pia Kramlik knew about that game as well when playing this game. Bishop goes back on b3 and bishop a6, which is not a good move. Instead it was better to play knight a5 with the idea of neutralizing this light squared bishop as soon as possible. But in our game after bishop b3 we have bishop a6 and h takes g6. White is managing to open up the h file and all this looks very scary. Knight f4. Although I have to tell you that according to Stockfish first playing e5 opening up this diagonal is even better. And then bishop g5 for example, knight f4, queen c2, but in our game we have knight f4, rook d8, which is a serious mistake and is losing on the spot. Instead it was better to strengthen the pawn on e6. But in our game after knight f4 we have rook fd8 and as you have already guessed, Kramlik went for a peace sacrifice on e6. Here we go, knight takes e6. f takes e6, queen g4, and this light squared bishop cooperating with the queen is becoming a huge problem for black. Right now the threat is bishop takes e6, black can't neutralize both threats. Although by playing king f7, black could neutralize both threats, but after rook h7 again there is not much black can do the threat is bishop h6 at some point bishop takes e6 can follow but in our game we have bishop c8 and queen takes g6 knight takes d4 well in a hopeless position black wants to make things complicated he's trying to sharpen the game but kramlik's response was cold hearted and we have rook h3 White is switching the rook into the attack from the third rank, although according to Stockfish, accepting the peace sacrifice and then playing rook h3 is also playable. Move like queen takes a1 is not dangerous, white can quickly finish off black king. Yeah, it's over. But in our game we have rook h3, knight takes b3, 
Queen h7 check, King f8, Rook f3 check. And now black is paying a very high price for that Rook d8 move and black's position is totally lost. Although black's position was lost long time ago, once white went for a knight sacrifice on e6. Queen f7. Black is giving up his queen, but if we move like king e7, then again this can't help black. White can first announce a check from a3, freeing the d1 square, and then capture on g7, and black is also losing his king. The game is over. In our game we have queen f7, but white didn't hurry with rook takes f7 and played bishop h6. Although rook takes f7 was also winning, but white is coming after more material. Queen takes f3, queen takes g7 check, king e8, g takes f3, and after knight takes a1, bishop g5, knight c2 desperate check, king f1, black finally resigned in view of an imminent checkmate. Well, you can give more checks, but it's over, I don't know. Knight e3 you can play, and if a move like Rook d7, then queen g8 checkmate will follow. Yes, it's over. That's why after king f1, we have a resignation. This is it, dear chess lovers. This was a nice and instructive game played by Pia Kramling, and this can be useful for those who are facing Grunfeld defense very often. In the end, a chess puzzle for you, where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move, and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.